right, so the first step to smart niche conversions, and this is a non-negotiable step, is pre-coding the parts that are going to be picked up into the denture conversion or the converted denture. And uh, that is done well in advance of the procedure. So we're not talking at the time of surgery. We're talking a day before, a week before, a month before, a year before. It doesn't matter, but it's done before surgery. So what we're going to do is we're just going to line up our temp cylinders, our tie bases here. I just line them up in front of me. And then I drop the separable fastener into each tie base. And then I take my torque driver and I secure each tie base to what we call a coating mandrel. So it, it's really just a lab analog that's really easy for me to handle by hand. Now this torque driver is designed so that you can't over tighten the separable fastener. It is calibrated to 0.7 inch ounces, which is very, very low torque. So if you use a normal driver, <coughs> you run the risk, like let's say this is a normal driver, you run the risk of driving it, driving it, driving it, and then all of a sudden, ah, it pops off. And you're like, oh no, I just broke my screw. You didn't break the screw, there's an easy fix, and we're gonna have some video tutorials about how to troubleshoot this system, but the separable fastener can be reassembled, no problem, and then reattempted. Like I said, we're gonna have a whole separate video of all the troubleshooting for the system. Once the separable fasteners are securing the tie bases to the coating mandrel, we're now ready to pre-coat. And so here I have my polymer. Kind of stuck in that glass vial there. There we go. Got my polymer and my monomer. Now yes, Acrylic is my preferred material for doing a denture conversion because I like using a monolithic PMMA denture, which means if I do acrylic to pick up, then my pickup material is the same chemistry as the actual denture itself. So I'm a really big proponent of acrylic, monolithic PMMA dentures and using PMMA for my pickup material. So here the technique is just to wet a brush, roll the monomer onto your tie base, then pick up a little bead of polymer, and then just roll that bead along that tie base, just trying to engage all of the undercuts in that tie base. You'll see that that tie base is designed with some very aggressive undercuts, and that's by intention. I'm just going to shape that because I don't want to add a whole lot of uh, girth to the part. So this is one technique for pre-coating. And then I'm going to come back at it from the top. And I just want to capture that separable fastener. I want to lock it into that tie base. So if you look real close, I still have access to that drive feature. If I had gotten acrylic into that drive feature, I could take that torque driver and then just kind of plunge it in there to lock, open it back up. But that one is pretty much done, ready to go. So I'm just gonna set that to the side. Now let me show you another technique. Preserving access to this, the drive feature is not critical. So some people like to just dip into the monomer, then dip into the polymer, and then they'll just wet that polymer. And again, the important thing is just making sure you have acrylic locking into the undercut features of that tie base.
All right, and so here, if you wanted to, you could plunge that drive feature to get the acrylic out of that drive feature and preserve access to it. But it's not critical that you maintain access to that drive feature. And you'll see why in subsequent videos. Okay, so that's pre-coding method number two. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep doing it my preferred way, which is to wet the tie base, pick up a bead, roll it in to the undercuts, and then come back with another, a, a second bead, and then just capture that separable fastener into the tie base. You see, this is not something that you have to spend a whole lot of time with. The, the principle here is engaging the undercuts, locking the separable fastener, and making it as um, as thin as you can with that pre-coating, because you don't want to you don't want to add a whole lot of girth to that part. Got some in there. I do like maintaining access to my separable fastener, so you'll always see me come back and just plunge out that separable fastener. All right, so that's pre-coating. <laughs>